Welcome to another Harry's Hobbies video where I'm still working on the prep work for the Foss Scale Models, Marshall's Gas Dock, and the Weaver's Gas Station. Now as you can see, I've cut down the foam board from a 2 foot by 2 foot square to about 10 inches by 10 inches. As you can see. And I'm still, I'm still using the footprint as a base. And I want Marshalls to, since it's a, obviously a gas dock, I want it to stick out in the water a little bit. And I'm not sure if it's going to angle this way or if it's going to go straight on as yet. And then Weavers is going to set up here. And this is no longer going to be a gas station. I've already decided that. So what I've done is I have marked off where I want the water to go. So the next step is to get this cut down and start prepping it for the resin that I'll eventually be pouring into that. I have also added another little outcropping over here just to add a little extra oomph and offset what you'll see here. So what we need to do is, is get this down to a level where it's ready for paint. And to do that, I'll be using simply a soldering iron and it'll melt this into the shape that I want it to go. So we're going to do that right now. A little longer than a few minutes later. So I'm back with what I've done with the soldering iron. And as you can see, it's very rough and it's got a lot of variations in depths and levels and peaks and little valleys and things like that. Now, if you look close enough right here, you can see that I did not go that deep because it's not necessary for a couple of reasons. Number one is the resin that I use Frankly, it's not that cheap. So I, I try to use actually as little as that as possible. And what I'll do is, is this will get painted with different shades. And I'll be starting with black. And this, this entire thing will get painted black. And then I'll add a variety of colors. Various hues of blue some greens just to bring out the depth and give it a sense of more scale and it'll look a lot deeper than this quarter to a half inch depth that it is right now. It will end up looking quite a bit deeper and if there's any peaks and valleys that stick up or what it's going to look like that they're going to stick up out of the resin. That's easy to fix. Simply take an X-Acto knife and all we have to do is just, you know, take a little bit off and cut it and then pull it off like that. Like I said, this stuff is, is very easy to work with and it's very easy to use. I've never had a problem with this. And the other reason that it helps using the soldering iron to melt this, that actually helps to make it a little more solid since that resin that will get poured into it does generate heat as well as the paint protecting it as well when the resin gets poured in. And I am checking to see if there's any peaks and valleys that are going to, actually the valleys won't stick up, but the little peaks from the use of the soldering iron have a tendency of sticking up a little bit. And again, a lot of those will just snap off. Some of them you have to cut off like I already showed. So, that's some more of the prep work on this. Again, the, the model itself has not arrived yet. But, to get everything all lined up and ready to go isn't a bad idea. And again, I'm not sure if this is going to be this way. 
and we'll have to see how things play out as the construction continues along. So again, feel free to leave any comments, suggestions, criticisms, whatever else in the comments, or you can message me and I'll be happy to answer them. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, thanks for watching.